Hi there, I'm on site at Electronica 2024 and joining me today is Eric Slatten, President and CEO of ECS Inc and Randy Yearly, VP at Global Operations. We're going to be talking about the company's design tools and solutions as well as Eric's, predi Eric's predictions for the design industry in 2025. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you. Could you start by introducing yourselves? Yeah, sure. I'm Eric Slatten, President and CEO of ECS. Uh, I've been with ECS for 16, almost 17 years. Um, started as inside sales and have, have grown with the company. Great. I'm uh, Randy Yuri, Vice President of Global Distribution. Been with ECS for six years. Um, been in the industry for 30 years. Spent 20 years in distribution myself. So. Uh, yeah, six years at ECS. Great, thank you both. Could you tell me who ECS are? Yeah, ECS is a 45-year-old frequency control company. Um, it's, it's been our core business since 1980. Uh, it's, it's, we know it better than anybody, honestly. Uh, at least that's the way we see it in the industry. Um, and, and continue to grow. Uh, so we're, uh, I would add to that, we're, we're headquartered in Lenexa, Kansas, um, have sales professionals throughout the globe, and then we also uh, go to market with a, a network of manufacturers representatives as well. Great, thank you for that. We're gonna be talking about the design tools you offer, your engineering support, and predictions for 2025. But before we kind of dive into that deeper, what are the current design trends you're seeing? Yeah. We're, we're, we're currently in a, what we believe to be a design cycle. Um, and, and part of that design cycle is listening to our customers and, and understanding what they need. Um, naturally, miniaturization, um, multifunctionality, ruggedization, ruggedization um, um, and, and going into markets like automotive, like medical, um, you know, IoT and AI, um, what, what are some of the other, industrial, industrial. Is, is another market? I mean, it, frequency control really plays everywhere. Um, and we, we've got customers in almost every industry you could think of. Yeah. And how are you responding to these trends? Um, as Eric said, I mean, focused on miniaturization, multifunctionality, rugged reliability. Um, we've actually got three engineers on staff that have a combined 100 plus years of design experience. So they're very involved, a lot of collaboration with our customer base and making sure that we're coming out with the next most applicable products to meet their demands. Okay. Let's dig into your design tools and solutions. Can you walk us through some of them? Yeah, sure. Um, we have multiple design tools, um, assistance to design engineers on our website. We've got a couple different calculators. We've got a PPM to Hertz calculator We've got a uh, um, load capacitance, load capacitance, and uh, um, stability over time. Stability over time. Thank you, Randy. Yep. So you mentioned calculator tools, Eric. What are the the key features? Yeah. So specifically, it, it, you know, frequency control. It seems is is kind of black magic to a lot of design engineers. It's not something they necessarily studied when they were in school. Um, so listening to them, we understand that there are a couple hiccups they may have, questions that we frequently get. So we went ahead and said, hey, let's build these calculators for them to make their job easier. Um, I like the use of the word black magic. It, it, yeah. it, that, that's the best way I can describe it. People just don't quite, they know it's important, they know they have to have it, right? But they, they don't understand the intricacies of frequency control. There's, there's a lot of variables. So really about simplifying it and Absolutely. making it easier. And I don't, know that you mentioned it, but your crystal selection tools, another tool that you offer to kind of go back to the simplification. What are the key features and, you know, how does it work? Uh, well, specifically, uh, we, we've worked with some of our reference design customers and we've built out calculators or selection tools for them. Um, the, the biggest one that comes to mind would be ST. ST um, we, we've got three separate selector tools for their STM32, their SPC5, which is, I believe, automotive, automotive. and SP, or STM8, which is also automotive. So if you know you're using a particular chip and you need particular specs, you go in to our website, you find the calculator, and you it will tell you what ECS part should work with the exact uh, part that you're, you're using. Easy as that. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We make it very, very easy. That, that's our goal. Good stuff. So um, 
looking at crystals more specifically, for engineers who are designing with them, what would be your key recommendations? Um, I would say using the tools, right? I mean, continue to use the tools, um, engage with our engineers, the ones that we have on staff. Again, those three individuals have over a, a hundred years of combined, combined design experience. Uh, using the tool for the best product selection to meet the demands of the design. Um, and yeah, using choosing our quality products and uh, using ECS. I, I would add, I highlight again, use our engineers. Right, right. These guys know this stuff better than anyone um, on the actual frequency, the actual component itself, and then the application of it in understanding what the design is and what they need. Our engineers can get you the right spot. So we've touched upon a little bit in our conversation um, thinking about the engineers who are designing, having them at the forefront of your mind. What support do you offer for them when it comes to product design and development? And how are you taking into consideration a product's entire life cycle? Go ahead, Eric. Yeah, so, you know, back, back to what we were talking about. We, we've, we've built out the tools, uh, the calculators, we've, we've built the part builders um, and, and using our engineers. On the life cycle side of things, we like to be first to market with the newest, latest, greatest frequency control product, be it crystals or oscillators. Um, we also, we hold on to product longer than a lot of our competitors. So a lot of this, this stuff is industry standard size, industry standard specs. Um, many of our competitors will EOL early. We will hold on to that as long as, as we can. So that, that's, to me, that's beneficial to right. a customer, specifically if you've got a product that's gonna run 10, 15, 20 years. Um, it, it's something that we we're proud of. And absolutely, and it helps to keep um, costs down for them when yep. it comes to looking at the Absolutely, product. yeah, the redesign we know is extremely expensive. So why don't we talk about ECS Inc. What is driving the growth and expansion of the company? I say it goes back to um, our, our quality products, number one, right? Our unmatched customer service and um, time in business, right? We've been in business, it'll be 45 years next year. So um, the, the individuals that we have on staff fully dedicated to their positions, their roles within ECS. Um, so it makes, it a dri makes us a driver um, in, in our product category, so. Thank you for that. And following on from that, what are your 2025 predi predictions for the design industry? What's, yeah. what's <laughs> new, what's next? That's, that's the million dollar, multi-million dollar question, <laughs> right? Um, it seems industry consensus is Q3 next year when things will start to get better. Um, we, we, we follow that same belief. Um, we're going to continue doing what we do, introducing the newest, latest, greatest. We're going to continue supporting our customers to the best level that we can. Um, and so we believe we might even see the front side of that turn in the industry. Um, on the design side, I think we're going to continue to see the same thing uh, that, that we, we spoke about. Customers wanting smaller, faster, more rugged, right? Um, so we, we continue to just make sure that we're on the front side of that and we can make sure we're servicing everybody possible. Great. And to wrap us up, tell us about your partnership with DigiKey and what it means for your customers. Go ahead, Randy, or I, so, I can. So, I mean, DigiKey has been a partner of ours for 45, more than four decades, 45 years. Well, yeah, 45 years. Almost 45 years. Yeah, almost. Go ahead. Well, it, yeah, DigiKey's a fantastic partner. Um, when we NPI product, they're the first to take it. Um, they're obviously very happy to hold inventory. Uh, that that's fantastic for the customer. They know that, hey, if, if it's in the DigiKey catalog or online, we can get it. They, we know they're going to have inventory. Um, and just our relationship overall with DigiKey is, is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, they understand us. We understand them. Great. Well, thank you both for being here and for the conversation. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Very much. Thank you.